The vacuum cleaner in the garage was playing up recently and producing a terrible smell and a lot of sparking from the motor brushes. So I thought I'd strip it down and have a look at what the problem was. And it looked like the, the motor uh, commutator had got pretty badly mucked up with carbon deposits from the brushes. So took the motor shaft out, mounted it in the lathe and gave it a little clean up with a lathe tool. Just skim the surface to, to clean it up and a bit of fine 800 grit sandpaper. I used a, a knife tool to turn it rather than actual um, a, a normal sharp lathe tool. Uh, this works if you look up tangential lathe tool no sorry, if you look up a uh, knife lathe tool online um, it's ground to a knife edge like so and it you don't use the corner of it, you actually use the midpoint of the edge so there uh, if that focuses. So as the the workpiece is rotating forwards it's getting sliced off by the, the edge of the lathe tool. It works great for gummy materials like uh, like copper. So after I turned it I took a, a razor blade and cleaned off the burr in the slots. So it looks nice and clean there. I've also taken the motor brushes and I've ground the ends off of them because they were pretty badly pitted with the sparking um, from the, the commutator. So we'll reassemble all this and see how it runs. Here's the actual airflow uh, pathway which is quite interesting. The air comes in the top through this hole. There's a tin can part. Now there's a rotor attached to the motor shaft with curved vanes on it. Uh, this spins, let me think, anti-clockwise. So air gets sucked in the middle, flung out the edges, and then the air goes along these curved slots and down through these holes, inwards to the centre, and then down through the motor itself to keep it cool, and out through the bottom, which is quite an ingenious airflow pathway. Um, I always just thought they were a simple single impeller, but this seems a sort of two-stage job, which is uh, quite interesting. Well, it seems to work. Still stinks a bit, but at least we can't blame the brushes now. They look to be caking up a little bit with the graphite from the brushes again, but, well, nothing you can do about that. Okay, thanks for watching.